I'm gonna show you a surprisingly simple trick for calculating the shortest distance between two points on a sphere like the Earth. Imagine you're flying from London over to San Francisco. Now San Francisco is mainly west and a little bit south of London, but you'll find yourself flying over Greenland when you look at that little screen on the aeroplane. And you think to yourself, why? Am I en route? Well, calculating this route is a little bit tricky, but there are at least two simple ways you can check for yourself what the shortest distance is. Firstly, you could use Google Earth, not Google Maps, but Google Earth, and use the measure tool, put a line from London to San Francisco and see where it goes. The other way you can do it is grab a real uh, globe like this and a rope. Now this isn't a rope, it's a skipping rope, but it's good enough, or a piece of string. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna run that across between the two points. And what you find here when we go from London to San, San Francisco is that the shortest route goes well over Greenland, which is really quite surprising, but also quite obvious when you see it on a sphere like this. Now, if you'd like to know why aeroplanes sometimes don't take exactly this shortest path, then either jump in the comments or subscribe and we will discuss it shortly.